pray for the teachers, bless the students have attended this lesson. Let us always remember to link out and use it in the in the in the future, Lord. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Thank, Thank you very, very much for that wonderful word of uh, word of prayer. Um, we are going to continue with balancing equations. So today, I'll need the, a little. I'll need most of you to get involved because um, I think we are getting there. Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Teacher. Uh, okay. We are there. <laughs> try out those numbers and see if we can finish them. Last time we tried out three numbers. Today we are going to do um we need to do five numbers. If we can finish five numbers today. I'll be happy that we are progressing very well. Next time we look at reactions with two or more products. Now, if you can be so keen, we are still looking at reactants with one product, just one or two. We are still looking at simple one, amazing. Okay, number two for today, we are going to start with, what did we say? Stop last time. Last time we stopped at hydrogen chloride, forming hydrogen chloride. So today we're going to start with hydrogen peroxide forming water. I'm going to use a whiteboard because let me share the whiteboard. Let me start. So we have hydrogen peroxide. I need to involve all of you. We have hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is aqueous, meaning that it is dissolved in water. Some books say liquid, but we other books say aqueous, so we need to take the aqueous. You remember you studied this equation in the preparation of um, oxygen in the laboratory, where we had hydrogen peroxide forming water and oxygen in the presence of manganese for oxide. So we don't need the manganese oxide because the manganese oxide, if you can remember, it was put on the arrow. When they put it on the arrow, it means that it is not part of the reaction. We say it is just used as a catalyst. It makes the reaction faster, but is not used. So when you're writing an equation, you don't put it there when you're balancing. So we are not going to consider this when we are balancing. That's why it is not in our equation in those notes. So on the left-hand side, how many atoms of hydrogen are we having there on the left-hand side? Two. How many atoms of oxygen are we having Two. on the left-hand side? Two atoms. Two. Good. Let's go on the right-hand side. Side. How many atoms of hydrogen are we having on the right hand side? Two. Two atoms. Two. Now, how many atoms of oxygen are we having on the right hand Three. side? We have this one Three. and this one. Oh, three. They are three. Thank you. Now, we need to be keen in this case. You realize that? Hydrogen is fine, but oxygen is not. But the oxygen atoms are not together. We have one atom with water and one other atom with oxygen gas. The first thing that we need to do, since the number on the left hand side is an even number, two, two is an even number, two, four, all those. We need to first make our numbers even on the right hand side. You see, in here we have one oxygen atom 
in this molecule we have two so i'm going to multiply through by a two because we see we are working on hydrogen on oxygen only if we have a two and a three is okay if they are together but here oxygen is alone we have one oxygen atom here and another oxygen atom here so my first job was to make it even so i'm going to multiply through by a two here when i multiply through by a two it makes this oxygen move from one to two which will make it two plus this two and my oxygen here will become four the only challenge is since i put a two on the left hand side of water or in front of water hydrogen has also been affected so hydrogen will also be multiplied by two to give us four so let's continue since oxygen atoms on the right hand side are four what can we do on the left hand side to make them four also by show of hands Angel. Angel, you can go ahead. Teacher, you put a two in front of hydrogen peroxide. So we multiply through by a two to give us four. And these two that I've <laughs> multiplied through, as Angel has told us, we put it in front of hydrogen peroxide but since we put it in front of hydrogen peroxide or on the left hand side of hydrogen peroxide it will affect both hydrogen and oxygen in the hydrogen peroxide so in this case we are also going to multiply through by a two since this two has affected both the hydrogen and the oxygen this makes it so you can realize that the two that we added here affected hydrogen to make it four. The two that we added uh, here nice week. Uh, one of these days, are since we are starting Latin mm -hmm. Theta in your yeah, we'll go and see with some short exercise. All of that. Some gentleman speaking in our background. Okay, thank you very much. I think that a little better okay so girls do we have questions on this number questions uh, you yes, also write it? questions in the chat in the chat room okay a uh, teacher can you, you could you please we explain the catalyst part okay we said that a catalyst we said that a catalyst uh, that question is from um esther we say the catalyst does not part does not take part in the chemical reaction it just speeds up the rate at which that reaction is taking place so that's why, if you remember in our equation when we're preparing oxygen in lab, we put manganese oxide on top of the arrow, meaning that it is neither a reactant nor a product. So we can't put it on the reactant side, we can't put it on the product side. So we leave it on top of the arrow. So when you're balancing, you do not consider it. You realize that we are only considering hydrogen peroxide and water as a product then oxygen as a product we are not considering a catalyst hope i've answered that question and that's why all catalysts that you will consider in olive we realize that you're putting all of them on top of the arrow meaning that they are not taking part in the chemical reaction they are only making the reaction take place faster hope i've answered your question june esther uh next angel i see six and three uh, yes teacher teacher was asking um do you is it a must to start balancing the equation from the product side 
or you can start with the reactant cell. Because when I tried it out, I started from the reactant cell, but I have the same thing you have. So. Uh, thank you very much, Angel. As I said, <laughs> when you get used to balancing equations, you will not even follow what I'm doing here because you realize that it's not very hard. So you have to be as flexible as you can. For me, what I'm trying to do is to show you what we want, what we want to the atoms on the right hand side. We don't care how you do it. And then later, I also told you that when you get used, we don't need to see the working. Provided I'm in an exam and I have your paper, I see a two on hydrogen peroxide, I see a two on, on water, perfect. I'll give you all your marks. I will not ask you how you balance it. So Angel, start from where you want, provided you understand. Is that okay? Yes, sure. Next question. I'm picking like four questions, then you go to another number. Paula. Paula. Um, excuse me, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, we are hearing you. I'm kindly requesting that you please re explain. Re explain. Okay, I'm going to call upon one person who has understood. to explain for us. You have someone who has understood very well and can take us through this. Next question, I'm going to do that, Paula, later I'm going to pick someone. Um, Shona, are you asking a question or you want to explain? Uh, yeah, yes, I was asking a question. That did you add, why did you add the um, oxygen in the okay, water ahead. and the, the gas? Like, why do you add them together to get three? Oh, thank you. Uh, okay, thank you. Um, we said right hand side. Right hand side, they told us it is a side that has products. How many products do we form in this reaction? They are two. We have water and we have oxygen. They are all our products. That's why when we are considering the number of atoms on the right hand side, we are considering both of them because this reaction produced two things, water, oxygen. That's why we are considering both of them because they are all products in our reaction. Or they are all produced in our reaction. Okay. Next question. Should I think that's fine? Yes, sure, that's fine. Thank you. I need a Beneza. Teacher, does that two does that two also multiply the other oxygen after the plus sign? Uh hold on. Oh, thank you. Uh hope I've understood your question. No. The two, I'm hoping that we are talking about the two on water. Yes. I'm going to put brackets, but we, or you don't put them there. I'm just using them to explain. A two on the left hand side only affect the atoms in that molecule. Only check. This oxygen is another molecule, or is another compound. So two. these two only affect atoms in this molecule. And this molecule has hydrogen and oxygen only. On the left hand side, these two affect atoms in this molecule of hydrogen peroxide. The two here and the two here. So these numbers that we put in front of molecules, they cannot affect atoms in other molecules. They only affect atoms in those molecules where they have been added. I think that answers your question. Yes. Okay, let me pick the last two questions, then I can, can answer Paula's question, then we go to the next example. Amelia and Daphne. 
Amelia first. Teacher, I don't have a question. I just wanted to explain. Okay, thank you. Oh, Paul has question. Go ahead. Can I clean? You're going to explain as I write, okay? Paul, I hope you're there to listen in. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, go ahead, uh, my dear friend. Um, okay. They are on the product, the product side, we have water and oxygen. So since there are, there are two oxygen molecules, I mean two oxygen atoms on this side after the plus sign, and in water, we have only one oxygen atom. When we add them, there are three oxygen atoms on this side, on the product I'm side. What you're saying. Yes. Okay. Continue, me, I'm writing. So, on the product side, we have two hydrogen molecules, I mean, two hydrogen atoms. And on the left hand side, the reactant side, we have two hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms. And two oxygen Hold atoms. Last, make sure that after I tell me if you've understood or if you still start. Okay, go ahead. So we have. We have for hydrogen the one that is there because the, the water can you hear me teacher yes so yes, we put that two before the hydrogen we, and that too affects the molecules, affects the water molecule, the, the one of water where it's child is putting the brackets. So it affects hydrogen, which has to making two, making hydrogen four, hydrogen atoms four, two times the two outside the brackets. Then the oxygen, since it is one, we multiply that oxygen atom, which is one, times the two outside the brackets to, to oxygen atoms. Now, since there are two in, in this, in the water molecule, we have two plus the two, so these two that is, the two oxygen atoms that after the two, That will be that cross out here three two four because what yeah so yeah on the product side we have four hydrogen atoms and four oxygen atoms so we go to the to the reactant side we have two we, yeah we have two hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms so we put two before hydrogen in front of hydrogen so to hydrogen so to give us outside the bracket and the oxygen atoms to give us four oxygen atoms and so the equation is balanced because on the reactant side we have four hydrogen atoms and four and four oxygen atoms on the reactant side on the product side we have four hydrogen atoms and four oxygen atoms that is how we balance it Yes. Thank you very much for in class. We we'll have clapped for you, uh, but for now.
Yeah. My question was that can you switch sides? Like, can you say, um, let me say, hydrogen, hyd water plus oxygen equals hydrogen plus nitrogen? Someone who used to ask about the atomic molecules, I think now you're understanding. You see, like nitrogen in this case, in real life, it exists as a diatomic molecule. That's why we are putting gas and two. But when it's reacting, calcium nitride, calcium reacts alone with its valency of two, nitrogen reacts alone with its valency of three, the three for nitrogen comes here, the two for calcium comes here. So let's start, girls. Let's get ready. How many atoms of calcium are we having on the left hand side? By show of hands. You can unmute yourselves and speak. One. 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 How many nitrogen atoms are we having on the left hand side? Two. Two, Two. nitrogen atoms Two. on the left hand side. Two. Let's go on the right hand side. How many calcium atoms are we having on the right hand side? Three. How many nitrogen atoms are we having on the right hand side? Three. Three. It's about up you wrote two. Uh, he wrote two to be three. Oh, sorry. The question with a typing error. Because Kaishiam has, yeah, yes, has a valence of two Kaishiam, so it's yeah. a two that comes. Okay, so what are we seeing in our equation? Our, in our equation, not what is written in, but I've changed it. So it's a, yeah. a two. Okay? okay. So um, I see. Nitrogen is fine because I see on the left hand side it is two, on the right hand side it is two, but calcium is not fine. What can we do to make sure that calcium is also fine? By show of hands. Daphne, I see Daphne. If you put a three in front of calcium, we put a three. So we see hydrogen, sorry, nitrogen is fine. So I won't tamper with it. Calcium on the right hand side, we have three. On the left hand side, we have one. Daphne has told us that we put a three in front of calcium. That means it will be one times three, which will give us three. Now, someone asked a question. Will this number affect an the class not? In this case, three is on the left-hand side of calcium only. So it is only calcium that will be affected by a three. This nitrogen will not be affected because it is up to a plus. It is very far. It's not part of this formula. So in this case, I'll say that my equation is balanced because I see the number of atoms on the left-hand side are equal to the number of atoms on the right-hand side. The right -hand side. Do we have a question before I go to the next example? If you have a question, you raise up your hand, then you can answer your question. I don't see any hand. That means we are moving. Paula, I promised you that I will be asking you questions. Do you think you're now moving with us? Uh, no, sir. Okay. Uh, Dan Akelo, Daniela. Um, teacher, if the three was on the product side, would it affect the entire the entire thing? Okay, let me use a different color. Girls, I'm using a different color to answer her question. Um, you're asking if the three was here. I'm understanding. Is it what you mean? Yes. Good. If the three was here, it would affect everything in that this formula because it is one formula this one 
this formula has both calcium and nitrogen. So if we put a 3 in front of this formula, now calcium would be 3 times 3, which is 9. Nitrogen would be 2 times 3, which is 6. Okay. Hope I've Thank you, you, teacher. You're welcome. Yes. We have another question. Can we go to another example? I see Ebenezer. Teacher, when you are balancing, does the three affects calcium, but do we have to put the number of atoms under calcium or we just leave the three in front of each? Not understood your question. You repeat. Teacher, the three, should we put it under calcium, like calcium, then three under? Oh, we just oh, leave it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I've understood your question now. Yes. Um, let me use a black color to see if I'm picking your question well. Um, you saying should we write it now like this? You're meaning that? Yes, teacher. Plus nitrogen. No. We said that when we are balancing you are not allowed to add any number on the right hand side of an atom or a molecule or a formula. We only add numbers on the left hand side of formulas or left hand side of formulae. Okay? So in this case, when you do this, you have obtained a very good zero and the whole thing will be wrong because now you've changed the formula, like this is not what we had. For us, we only had calcium alone. The three, if you wanted us that there are three calcium atoms, come on the left hand side of calcium or in front of calcium and put a three. When you add a three, you've told us that now it is a triatomic molecule, which is different, which is wrong. I think I've answered your question. Uh, last question. Then we go to another example, if any. Let me check if there's another question. Okay, I don't, I see one hand. Yes, Esther. I'm just confused. How come it becomes a triatomic atom when it's on the product side and not the reactant side? Because the three before the calcium, doesn't it mean that there are three molecules, not three atoms? Hmm? Okay, thank you. I'm going to bring out something small when I'm explaining that point. We said this calcium nitride, calcium has a valence of two, nitrogen has a valence of three. Three comes here. Two comes here to give us calcium nitride. Esther, I think how it comes. Oh, so this yes. This is a formula of calcium nitride. These are not atoms. You can, we can't say monoatomic, diatomic, triatomic. Now we say it in this is in from senior one. If you have an atom like this alone in life, this is called monoatomic elements or atoms. Now, if you have two atoms like oxygen, like nitrogen, existing alone, but there are two, two of them combined together to exist alone, we call those diatomic. Okay? If they three ozone, we have like ozone, or we have any number like Z, let's say Z is a molecule, an atom with a three. Since there are three atoms existing on their own in real life, we call these triatomic because there are three atoms that are combined together. In this compound, calcium nitride, calcium, there are three atoms of calcium which combine with two atoms of nitrogen to form calcium nitride. So those words do not apply. Diatomic, triatomic, monatomic, they don't apply because these are compound molecules. I hope I've, 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 I've 
talked about your, your question. Have you understood? Um, teacher, what about the three before the culture? Does it yes, mean that the there are three side. molecules? Uh -huh. On the left hand side, it shows that there are three atoms of calcium. Atom, three atoms of calcium. But when you were beginning, you were told that the number before, the whole number before, represents molecules. Okay. If you look at, okay, can I ask you something? What is the difference between an atom and a molecule? What do you understand when I say atom and when I say molecule? Then I answer your question. Molecule. Like from one, yes. Molecule can consist of atoms, but an atom is the smallest. Indivisible. Okay, thank you very much. Um, that is okay, but I also want to add something on what you say. When you have two or more atoms combined together, you can call that a molecule. If I have, I'm going to use circles. If I have two circles here, you don't say that's an atom. You say those are mole. That's a molecule. If you have two, three atoms combined together, then you say that is a molecule. So molecules have two or more atoms combined together. But if you have one atom alone like this, it remains an atom, you can't say molecule, because it's one atom. That's why for calcium, you can't say calcium molecule, because it is one calcium atom that is existing on its own. But like this one, nitrogen, we have two nitrogen atoms that are existing together. That's why we say nitrogen molecule. Because there are two nitrogen atoms combined together to form nitrogen or to exist as nitrogen. So that's why here we say three calcium atoms because we just have calcium atoms. But here, if I add one, two here, I say two nitrogen molecules because these are two nitrogens together which form a molecule. That's why we say two nitrogen molecules. But these are three calcium atoms because it is just an atom. It didn't combine with other atoms to form a molecule. Then when there are two different atoms, we say a compound when they chemically combine together. Now this calcium nitride, we call it a compound. Because calcium and nitrogen have chemically combined together. Okay. I hope that Thank makes you. it a little better. You're welcome. Girls, I'm going to the next example, then you will ask more questions after the next example. Today we had agreed that we are doing over five numbers, then the rest, it will be you to do them. Next time we are starting on a different, we are starting on a different, um, on a different section. Teacher, can you please remember to post the recording on our classroom because some of us have very bad network and we have missed some things that you have said. Okay. So let's go to the next example. That is um, calcium plus oxygen forming calcium oxide. Calcium. plus oxygen forming calcium oxide. Okay, it starts. Calcium plus oxygen forming calcium oxide. How many atoms of calcium? Let me use a red color. How many atoms of calcium are we having? One. One. Now, do you see why oxygen there are two and calcium is one? Do you understand? Do you just see it like that? Yes. It means that in real life, Calcium atoms exist alone. In real life, oxygen atoms exist as diatomic molecules. But we said when they are reacting together, they react differently, like atoms first break. So calcium 
with its valence of two, oxygen with its valence of two. They react. The twos have a common ratio, so you cancel them out to give us calcium oxide. So um again, that was just for revision purposes. Oxygen, how many oxygen atoms do we have on the left hand side? Two. Two. Let's go on the right hand side. How many atoms of calcium are we having on the right one. hand side? One. Oxygen atoms on the right hand side? One. Okay. So if you look at this equation, you realize that um, calcium atoms are okay because on the left hand side we have one, on the right hand side we have one. So calcium is perfect, but oxygen is not. Oxygen, we have one atom on the left, on the right hand side. We have two atoms on the left hand side. What do you think we can do to work on oxygen atoms? I see a media, a media. What do you think we can do now? We put two before calcium in, on the product side. We put two in front of calcium. Thank you very much. On the right hand side, we are going to multiply through by a two in oxygen to give us two. But you realize that we don't have oxygen alone. So where oxygen is, we put a two in front of calcium oxide. But you said when you put a two in front of a formula, that number will affect all the atoms in that formula. So that means calcium will be affected by this two, oxygen also will be affected by this two. So after adding that two, how many atoms of calcium do we have on the right hand side? Two. 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 So what can we do to make sure that calcium is also fine? Can someone raise up a hand and tell us? Because now you see calcium is no longer fine. Um, there is Zora Beijuka. We add a two in front of calcium on the left hand side. A two in front of calcium on the left hand side. So I come on the left hand side, I put a two. That means we are multiplying calcium with a two, which will give us two. Now, since calcium is alone, this two will not affect the oxygen because it is only behind calcium atom. So is our equation balanced? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. The next number, that will be my last number. I'll call upon people to do for us the last three numbers, then we'll finish our lesson. So me, I'm doing one last number on this section. That will be an Yes. confused. I really don't understand what we're doing. What we're doing, what? Um, I'm confused. I don't understand what we're doing. I'm not hearing you well. You're confused. Uh, I just said I said I'm confused and I don't understand what we're studying. Hey, you're not understanding. Have you been attending classes by the before I can? So yes, I've been attending, but like in the first two weeks, I never attended school, sir. And then after, like I asked what we're doing, but then like I never got an explanation. So like I've been confused. And then like for the past previous lessons, like I keep asking and saying, I don't understand, but I, like, I don't know what to do. And like, I don't know where to find the chemistry recording. I don't know, I haven't seen any. I usually see like other recordings, but I haven't seen like the one for chemistry in particular, so I'm pretty confused. Okay, we are sorry. Um, I'm going to repeat uh, the, the number on um, of hydrogen peroxide. Then I'll do one more number. Then I'll I'll make sure that when I'm inviting people to do these numbers, I keep asking you questions. Then I'll make sure that we make sure that 
catch you, we will make sure that you're with us before we finish this talk. Okay, Paula. Recording, uh, you, yes, you need sir. to contact the class teacher so that they can contact the IT people because it's the IT. Um, so I don't know who I my class teacher know. is. I just it's joined the school, so oh. I, I think. Which stream did they put you in? Uh, so they put me in um, S2S. Okay, S2S, I know the class teacher is called Mr. Sally, Moses Sally. Have you written that name somewhere? Mr. Mr. Juna. Yes. Hello. Yes. May I come in? Yes, come in. Uh, sorry about uh, uh, what is happening, Paula. I'll talk to your parents. Eh? I'll okay, talk to your parents. You. And, yes, I'll talk to your parents. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much for coming in. <laughs> okay, girl, uh, let's repeat one number, then we can go ahead. Okay, so clear all diagrams. So we have hydrogen peroxide, very fast. One person tried it for us. Um, I'll call upon one other girl to do this number for us. You have one minute to go through this number for us. Who thinks she can do it for us before we leave? You know you can do it very well and very fast. Raise up your hand. And I don't need the other person who did it before because there's, there was another one who did it very well. Um, I need a new person. Yes, Jovia. Jovia, you have two minutes. The equation is H2O2. So there are. Can you see it on your screen? I've already put it on our screen. We are only working. So there are two atoms of hydrogen on the right side. You know, so two atoms of oxygen on the right side. Mm -hmm. Then on the left side, there are two hydrogen atoms. And three oxygen atoms. Oxygen atoms are three, okay. Can you tell us where you're getting the three from? Or... So because of the oxygen atom H2O, you know, so the O2. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. So, so I think we, we multiply. You multiply time. Okay, so for me, I think you like multiply by three, by three and the right hand side. Then also, then also by no, I can't hear you properly. I'm very attentive, but I'm missing a few words. You you speak think, a little louder. Me too. So okay. I think um so I think you put two on the right hand side in front of in front of H2O. Two. Yes, I'll put it there. So then you so then you also put two on the right on the left hand side. Okay. So then the, the number of atoms is equal to ox, oxygen is four, then also on the right hand side is four. Then hydrogen is also, is also four. So the equation is balanced. Okay, girls. Hey, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Girls, our um, teacher was very good and very fast. And I believe when we keep, if you keep practicing, you keep trying these numbers out, they will become very easy, okay? But we need to keep 
practicing. So I'm going to do, I'm going to write the next number, then I'll call upon one person to do it for us. Me, I'll finish doing numbers. It's you to do, to do numbers. If you know you can do this number, raise up your hand, I'll, I'll pick your hand. Thank you very much. I'm calling up. Which number? The next student to do for us, iron plus oxygen forming triad. Iron plus oxygen forming triiron tetraoxide. That's our next example. You know you can do it very well. Let's mute our microphones. Uh, excuse me, teacher. Okay, I see at Kwasi Kelly. Yes, um, at Kwasi Kelly. Someone is saying, excuse me. Do I identify? Yes, it was, it was me, the just yes, asking a question. Yes. yes. Well, I was just asking about those arrows in iron plus oxygen. Really, just a minute, yes. someone has a question. Yes, go ahead. Uh, those arrows, do they mean that it's reversible or something else? Uh, these arrows means that the reaction is reversible. Kelly, um, go ahead. If you're not speaking, kindly mute your microphone. Kelly, go ahead. Yeah, for the first turn of equation, iron has one and two, and oxygen has two. And then for the other side of the equation, I has three and oxygen has four. So um, we are supposed to balance the equation. We'll write three. Can you be a little louder, please? And has on the first side of the equation, iron has one atom and oxygen has yes. two. And then on the other side, iron has three and oxygen has four. And we are supposed to balance yeah. the equation. To get three atoms on this other side of the equation, write three um, be behind iron, making it three atoms. And then we write two in front of, uh, sorry, behind oxygen, making it four. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Girls, can we clap hands for her? Papa. Oh, God. Okay. I need another person to do uh, the next number hydrogen plus nitrogen forming ammonia. You know, you can do it very well. Raise up your hand and start. Amelia. Amelia, we have hydrogen. Hydrogen. Hydrogen plus nitrogen. So hydrogen has two atoms. And nitrogen has two atoms. On the product side, nitrogen has one atom. And hydrogen has two atoms. So what we do, since we have to make, we have to make them equal. So we put two before nitrogen on the, on the product side. Yes. So I put two before nitrogen on the product side to give us two, we multiply the two, that two out before nitrogen times the one atom of nitrogen to give us two nitrogen atoms. Then the two also yes. affects, so we say three times two to give us six. Give us six hydrogen atoms. So, 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 so far, nitrogen is okay. Now we go to oxygen. 
we have two hydrogen atoms on the reactant side. So we put three before hydrogen on the reactant side. That will be have to, to give us six hydrogen atoms. Okay. So we have six hydrogen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I, I thank God that you've done these numbers, and I thank you people for attending this lesson. The next numbers they are used to do, all of you, make sure that you try them out when you're reading. In our next class, we are going to start on other examples with different reactants and um, different products. Excuse me, teacher. Have a question, ask our time is over. Yes. Excuse me, teacher. So my question is on that number nine. Like when you are trying to balance, do you balance potassium, hydrogen, and oxygen differently? Like KHO, or you have to join them? Repeat your question. I didn't hear you well. Like when you're trying to balance, let me say, mm. like how they've given us potassium and there is also hydrogen and oxygen. Like when you're writing the number of atoms, you have to write it of the separate molecule, of the separate, like, is it supposed to be, like, let me say, potassium has two, hydrogen has two, and oxygen has two, or you have to say, Okay, um, I hope I'm understanding your question. You write for potassium alone, write for oxygen alone, write for hydrogen alone, balance them differently. Is that your question? Yes, teacher. Yes. You make sure that you get potassium on the left hand side alone and right hand side. Oxygen on the left hand side and right hand side, then hydrogen on the left hand side and hide right hand side separately but we told you that later when you get used you don't need to write these things in exam because you'll be seniors you'll be perfect you we only mark the equation we don't need to see the working when you're seniors in your exam so keep practicing but you work okay thank you Bye-bye, girls. I think that was our last question. Bye, Bye teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye, Daniel. Bye. Bye, sweetie. Adios. Bye. 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 Ciao. Ciao. Bye. Ciao. 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 Bye. 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 Bye.